It's a quick video to explain punch tool collections. Um, many times when customers want to maintain a configuration um, that has multiple machines, but maybe these machines don't have the physical um, capability of using the same tool libraries, even though we have one single library. For example, like we have multiple Murata machines or Amata machines here. So we'll say these two Amata machines, they have one Amata library, but maybe those tools don't actually uh, exist physically in a location where you can actually use all of these. So there's a couple ways to distinguish um, within the tools themselves. You have the ability to come in and within the library you can distinguish them by maybe putting a, a punch name. Um, say this is the uh, Apelio version of the tool and this is the EM version of the tool and you can make duplicates that way um, especially if they have different traits like uh, when one might have a different feed rate or of different uh, some sort of attribute especially forming tools another way to do this um, besides just the naming convention is to create what we call tool collections um, the way this works is under tools configuration there is a punch tool collections and you make a punch tool collection and let's say I make one for the Apelio. With the Apelio collection I can come in here and edit that and what that allows me to do is come in and actually grab all the tools I need specifically for the Apelio. So you don't need to make duplicates as long as the attributes are the same across both machines. I mean I can add whatever I want here. You just need to maintain this list um, so if you ever add a new tool um, that you expect to be used for, for one machine or another, you need to make sure to add it to its appropriate collection. Um, so once you have these collections in place, I'll just make a real quick EM collection as well and just add a few aw browns. So if we do this, Within the part settings for each machine, um, there are some rules here. If we go here, um, one of the custom options uh, we can set for this in the presets. So we go into, in this case it's an Apelio, so let me get rid of the laser options. It's within the, uh, the punching options here. Under other. You can actually say this machine has access only to the tool collection, in this case the Apelio collection. And even more to the point, you can make this a default for the Apelio. So anytime I make a brand new part, for the Apelio from this point forward, that's part of the default for the Apelio. You can see that in the setting, it's there. So now when I go to the turret to manipulate this, the only tools I have available are those that are in the collection. So you'll see that there are some here in the turret that are left over for remnant. So it's best to set up your collection, which sets up the library for that tool, and then begin creating your um, default turret from that said collection. So, and then if you ever need to revert to use more tools, one, you can go back in, tools, configuration, punch tool collection, and edit the collection. Or you can always come into the part settings and say, you know what, I need to make use of more of the tools. Just say all tools. Then when you go back in your turret, the whole library is available. So it's just a tool meant to allow for you to use a single tool library, in this case the Amata, and make multiple collections that allow you to distribute certain tools to certain machines.